Is there a widget for timer? I don't know how I feel about the title. Can I remove that? This is cool. Two thoughts. I have not watched any official tutorials about this app, nor videos from other YouTubers reviewing this. Squintel is also a sponsor of this video, but they asked me to be honest, so trust me, I will be. Penelope here. I'm currently a service designer at a tech company. Today, I'm doing an honest first impression of Squintel, which is a visual note-taking app. Okay, so okay. there's this form that it seems like I have to fill out. Just one designer or researcher. I'm gonna place designer. How did you hear about us? Twitter. How many are there in your team? I'm gonna answer this professionally. Like there's two to five in our team. What's the name of your company, university? I will just blur this out. Or actually I'll just play NA. Who else can benefit from just okay that. For which use cases would you like to use Scrintel? I don't know. Um, I don't know much about it yet. So let's say research design, system design, and brainstorming. Welcome to your visual thinking. There's an onboarding. And I like that it says here, no worries. You can always start the onboarding sequence from the menu later. I like that it, it gives you that choice. I'm gonna start onboarding. Okay, this is cool. Create a card. I don't know if it's just my screen, but I can't really see the text. What is it doing? So here's the thing about me. This is not everyone. I prefer things in bullet points, not in paragraphs. So I like that it says three ways, but I wish it's like more bullet points saying bullet point, double click anywhere in the desk. And then second bullet point, press C on your keyboard. And then third is click plus. Anyways. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. I love that it's giving you options. You can either look at this or read this. But I didn't even notice this caption. Then create links. Easy enough. Add tags. Remove cards. Easy enough. Bring cards back from archive. Create boards. So I'm guessing this is similar to other apps like, you know, Miro, Fig Jam, or Mural, where there are boards. So that's the mental model that I have right now. I don't know if I remember all that. I'm sure it'll be fine. Choose a template to get a head start. This is customized, personalized from my answers on that initial questionnaire. Maybe I'll do a brainstorming board. Okay, where am I now? Yes, toggle so I can do this. Is it dark mode or is it just my computer that's dark mode? I'm gonna explore this side bar, my desk. Okay, what does this do? What is my desk? And here are all the cards and there are boards. All right, let's just try the boards, uh, brainstorming board. Also, we go before brainstorming, problem statement. Okay, so I just double click that to write something. Is there a bullet point? I like the dark mode. Attendees. Mm. Oh, that's the title. Okay. Yeah, for some reason, I'm making it act like a sticky note where there is no title. So that's why I was confused. And I'm guessing this is where the, yeah. This is where the bullet point, bullet list. Let's try adding another card. So you just double click the logistics. Problem statement. Let's make it vague. Oh, you know what? I kind of interpreted this as before brainstorming, like planning this brainstorming, but I guess in this template, it was more for the actual ideation session. Is there a widget for timer? Then that would be, that'd be super helpful. All right, I gotta be honest, I took a break, I took a walk. I just wasn't sure how to proceed, mostly because I don't have data on me. I didn't wanna use my personal data and also my work data, of course. So what I'm gonna do now, add a new board. Okay, that's pretty intuitive. 
I'm gonna create cards. I asked ChatGPT to give me some random user interview answers for a food app. I chose this use case because this is what I do for work. Not for the food app, but you know, user interviews, looking at that data and then synthesizing that. I'm just gonna copy paste that. I don't know how I feel about the title. Can I remove that? I don't know if I'm doing this the right way. I think right now at work, we use Fig Jam for sticky notes and you know, this is how I would do it. Hmm. Oh, okay. So I can, without closing this, I can create a new card. That's pretty cool. I wish if I click here, then this would close. Because I think that's what I was thinking was going to happen. I want to replicate as much as possible how much data, how much quotes I get during a user interview. I mean, I can't replicate that because at work I'd have a lot, but I want to have lots here. This will do. After user interviews, usually I will have stuff on sticky notes. So this will be probably the equivalent here, cards. And then I'm gonna read them and see how I can synthesize them, how I can cluster them. Can I easily move them? Cool. So it is like a sticky note, but I know that you can add tags and all that fun stuff, right? You can add PDF, image, YouTube, tweet, any file really. I'm gonna read these and see if I can cluster them. I'll try to add link or tag. What is it called here? <laughs> so create a card. Oh, create a link. Oh, okay. Create links. Pl press plus. They'll create a link, but that's not what I want. Okay, wait. For the link, I have an idea how to use that with that data. And then tags will just be like a hashtag. I think I've seen like user interface a lot here. Can I use title and make it a tag? That a thing? Okay, maybe I won't type anything yet. I'm gonna read them first. User interface. So this is gonna be the first layer. Let's do a tag here on title. This would be, I don't know, what's happening? Tag, okay. Uh, user interface, let's do that. Does that make it a tag? Oh, it doesn't. I don't think it does. Oh, does it? I don't think it does. But then that's the first layer, what else? So the tags that I added just now, they were about what part of the app they were talking about. You know what I'm gonna do? The, the easiest one for second layer is which one are pain points, which one are delighters. I can already see the benefits of this. In synthesis and synthesizing the research, you have to model the data in so many different ways. Cluster it based on the theme, cluster it based on pain points and lighters, cluster it between which parts of the app or which parts of the system are they talking about. I can add those types of tags, right? The actual themes of these which are honestly the most important part of synthesis, which is around, yeah, I mentioned like accessibility and then there's like managing expectations, inconsistency, again, expectations, convenience or lack of. I'm not gonna add those, but we have these tags. So if I click on this, what happens? What happens when I click on something? 
Yeah. What happens? <laughs> Oh, I see. Okay. So that is interesting because when I close this, I'm clicking it, nothing's happening. But if you do have the sidebar open, you can see. I wish when you click this, like if you don't have it open, you click this, automatically this the sidebar will open. So I know that something is happening. And then I don't have to do the lighter like this one too. I can... Can't you change the color? Yeah, so the lighter is green. How else can we organize this? Okay, they're connected, but what does that mean? So it's linked. Interesting. So this one just makes it, makes this card related to that. So I guess that's another way to kind of organize them. So through tags, through links, and then through connecting them. Can I create like a, like a title? Oh yeah, I, I can. I cannot copy, but I can do this. Ah. Yeah, all right, what else can I add? Daily card columns. Ah, okay, that's the one that I saw earlier about create a new card. Oh, this is cool. The one that I can think of right now, but I'm not sure if it's the best example is if I have a how might we statement if we're brainstorming and if there's like a how might we statement right here, like how might we streamline process so that blah, blah, blah. People just start writing their ideas here. Add a new card or the facilitator will add lots of cards under here already and then people will just grab one and write their ideas there. What else? I feel like some icebreakers. Okay, this is cool because then you can really see. So, okay, sorry. I have to mention Fig Jam because that's what I use Does it work currently and there's no tags at all there like there's no tags there's no links you can add an arrow to a sticky note but that doesn't do anything you have to copy stickies multiple times to to cluster them in different ways for this one you don't have to do that at all because you can add tags add however many tags you want or add titles or color code them or just cluster them and add it add a title over here or you can do this kind of have a column it's you have all the options that's pretty cool this is a first impression i mean i'm not gonna go through the whole process okay synthesis and research takes the longest i would say at least for me it's challenging in some ways because it's it's not it's never a linear process it's not like do this and do this and do this it's like both art and science as everyone says so having a tool like this would help a ton in like clustering and in finding themes for for data such as this if you like this video and you wanted to check out scrintle this hybrid note-taking visual app i have a link down below that you can use for a discount feel free to check that out on the description box. I definitely will be looking more into their other features. I think I barely used all their functionalities. I'll be watching lots of their videos and other YouTuber reviews from now on just to see what other features I've missed. But yes, feel free to check out my discount code on the description down below. See ya.